But we begin with that gaming store owner charged with sex crimes against a child. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. Now, we typically do not air mug shots. However, we are showing you this one because investigators believe more victims could be out there, more victims of Brandon Smith. He's facing seven counts of criminal sexual conduct. Police say a victim just came forward alleging assaults in Ferndale several years ago. They say the suspect now owns a gaming store in Novi. They tell 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig that's what has them concerned. Police say 36-year-old Brandon Smith did not have a criminal history, but now the Walled Lake man is charged with multiple counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct. The alleged victim was under the age of 13 at the time of the alleged crimes. He's now 19, and in September, he went to Ferndale Police to report being sexually assaulted by Smith. Action News is showing Smith's mugshot only because Ferndale Police want to know if there are other victims out there. As a parent, as a police officer, this is um terrifying this is a uh, predator type behavior the alleged assaults took place in a home in ferndale during a time when smith reportedly lived with the alleged victim and his family it's alarming that the that this suspect is the owner of a gaming store in the city of novi the name of the company was uh, nine games the name of the company is spelled n-y-g-n games Police say Smith opened the gaming store on Pontiac Trail Road about two years ago. We talked to a woman whose children frequented the store where games are played and purchased. She did not want to be identified, but said her kids loved the store and recently heard of the allegations of sexual assault by Smith involving a minor. I was completely shocked. He was always so kind and uh, very honest, um, fair with all of his pricing. He always was willing to help us out. Two workers here at the store who did not want to appear on camera say they have never seen anything inappropriate and they're also stunned by the allegations. What scares us or worries us that there may be potentially more victims out there. This subject had unfettered contact with um, many minors. Brandon Smith is still in the Oakland County Jail on a $700,000 cash bond as Ferndale police encourage parents whose children may have had contact with him or the store to have a talk with them. And ask them if they had any contact that may be inappropriate. At that time, please stop questioning them and contact the law enforcement authorities uh, where you live and they will help you um, guide you through the rest of that process. In Ferndale, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.